Oh my goodness, we had our first catastrophic failure. Had to restart the computer because it froze. It's that fucking Elgato cam program. Oh my god. Nothing but fucking issues. Why? Why, Elgato? Why? Fucking Elgato. Are we back? Are we back? Everybody back? I'm gonna fucking need a beer after that. Fucking piece of shit! That damn Algato Prog has nothing but fucking trouble. It's really not even that good. I like a hundred millisecond delay on my camera. It's probably dealing in metric, that's why. Who's back? Anybody in chat? Anybody back? Anybody back? Fucking catastrophic failure. Had to restart everything. Good thing we just had the shell simmering. It would have overcooked by now. But that's exactly what we want. We want those shells to be nice and fucking dissolved. Well, at least the flavor. Those shells are going to be... They're going to be nice and fucking soft.
Goddamn Elgato. 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 Hey, Bubbles. <laughs> All right, who's back in chat? You, talk, uh, you guys were talking about fucking micro penises and shit. We need to stay on topic. Who there? Who there? Alright. Potatoes are nice and clean. Anyways, make sure you put your potatoes in water. You don't want them oxidizing and turning red or orange or whatever color they turn into depending on the species of potato. Either way, you don't want that nastiness. Keep them in water. Keep them in nice cold water. Hey, dummy, why didn't you use a strainer on the drain? Because fuck you, that's why. Fuck it, potato make a mess. Bye bye, Peel. Oh yeah. Alright, it looks like we're back on track. Back on track. Okay, let's change out the water and our potatoes. Potatoes. Get this off the side. Now we got carrots next. Let me show you something about a goddamn carrot. Let me show you a carrot. A carrot like you've never fucking seen before. See a, you want to see a dumbass carrot? This is a fucking carrot. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? Look at this shit. It has a twin. Not a goddamn carrot. It's a fucking squash. Yeah. 
All right. Peel our carrots. Peel our carrots. I mean, you really don't have to peel the carrots, but I do. Because when you're putting them in the soup, there's a weird texture to it. That's one carrot. There's two carrot. Two carrot. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Big ass fucking carrot. Okay, that's prepared. That's done. Always keep your workstation clean. Well, as clean as you can possibly have it. What are you talking about? Do you not wash your damn vegetables? That's why I'm washing them at the same time that I'm peeling. Duh. Duh. Look at these fuckers. Because you ain't doing it right. At first I thought you said, turn off the water while you're peeing. I can't fucking read good no more. Can't see shit. Fucking font is too small. Look at this. Look at this fucking shit. I've never seen something like this before. This is a fucking carrot. Well, it's a... A mutant of a carrot. Shit, you just been lucky. Surprised you haven't died because you turn off the water while you're peeling. You're living on the edge, man. Even now on the edge. Copyright strike. Fuckers. Continue with the mission blast. Cilantro. Can't go wrong with cilantro. Make sure your cilantro doesn't have any fucking black leaves or mold, dirt. And you gotta dry it. Make sure it gets dry. Put it on the colander. Gotta use the colander. You gotta let that shit dry. Cause if you don't dry your cilantro, it'll last it'll last you half as long. You ever smell fucking cilantro that's been moist and left in a container outside in room temperature? It smells like fucking pus. I thought one of the cats had leaked fucking anal juice. But it was just a cilantro had gone man overnight because it was still fucking wet. Nasty. Nasty fucking cilantro. But we can't live without it. Can't have food without cilantro. Especially seafood.
Make sure you shake that shit out. Shake it up. Shake it up. By the way, we get enough of that shit from our fucking government. So knock it off. Oh, HOA says you gotta keep your grass green. Oh, but you can't turn on the water sprinkler. Oh, we need you to stop using fossil fuels and buy an electric car. But you can't charge them. Because you'll be a strain on the, on the electrical grid. Why don't you turn off your water while you're peeling? You don't need to wash your you don't need to wash your vegetables anyways. Ugh. Onion! Onion! We don't need to wash this shit. I'm just putting it aside so I don't forget. Onion. Alright. Mise en place time. Don't fucking touch. Asshole. Asshole computer. Well, actually, asshole Elgato program. All right. So we need to prepare our potatoes first. Potato. Oh, oh, RV life. There we go. Always have a sharp knife. Always roll it out. Nothing more dangerous than a fucking blunt knife. Second most dangerous thing, somebody that cuts like an idiot. Like the people on TV. Let's get another container. Another container. 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 Need another container. Container. Oh, wow, here we go. Put that there. Put that here. RV life. This is how I dice potatoes. Make a flat edge, cut that off. Oh. Those guys there. these fucking cubed you want these cubed so 
cold water in here. You go in there. You can either do that or because what I want to do is I want to make these cook really fast. Because sometimes I'll do uh, I'll do them in little circles, kind of like thick potato chips. But I want these to cook fast. Because somebody's hungry. Somebody be hungry. You see the size of these? It's like the same size as the ones you would find in your Campbell's soup. In your Campbell's soup. already mm. now the other reason why I'm dicing them this small usually when I do potatoes I'll start cooking them with in cold water when you cook them in cold water and then heat it up to a boil it seems to cook it more thoroughly Instead of just throwing them in boiling water off the bat. But since we were cooking the shells to make the broth, well, the bottom of the water is already boiling. So you need to make the potatoes smaller. So you don't have a outside that's all soft and an inside that's too firm, undercooked. If I were making, which I'll, I'll be making a potato salad for Thanksgiving stream, amongst a bunch of other stuff. I'll dice them up in large cubes, like the size of a dice, and then cook them in cold water. And they come out perfect, not all overcooked where they get all mushy. And they maintain their shape for the time that you have the food available. So let's say you make a bunch of potato salad and over time you have leftovers. You don't want it to get mushy. It's all how you cook it.
And oh my god, we gotta start a movement. How to teach people on TV to cook or cut. Like these fucking commercials where people are cooking and they're grabbing their shit like this and cutting like this. What the fuck is that? What is that? Trying to, when they say they're gonna make finger foods, that's. I'm not supposed to take that literally. We should start a movement. Get the trend. To train these fucking people to cook or to learn how to cut before they go on a cooking channel or on a commercial. And it's those ready prepared meals too. Those commercials are. They fucking make me see when I see them cutting. Get yourself a scraper at Ikea. You don't want to use your knife because, first of all, it makes it dull. And second, you run the risk of actually cutting your hand because you'll be doing this. Water. Water. Get the starch out. The reason why you want to clean your potatoes and keep them wet is you want to leach out all the starch. Because if you don't leach out the starch, it'll thicken up your soup. And the soup that I'm going for is pretty, pretty thin, pretty brothy, like uh, like pho. I don't want it. I don't want it to get thick. I don't want my soup to get a hard on. So you need to leach all the starch out as much as you can just by letting it soak in water. Wait, did I turn on the music? Yeah, the music should be on. Freezing right through. Freezing right through. Bring it around the ground. You gotta be shitting me. Come on. I got a camera. Bear with me, motherfucker. Yeah, that's that stupid Algato program. Jesus Christ. They're nothing but fucking failures. Algato, you gotta step up your game, man. Especially the fact that I can't play games while using your program because it controls the fucking refresh rate. What kind of bullshit is that? I got three other cameras that I'm using.
And Elgato, you're the only program that controls the refresh rate of my entire system. So, like this camera is set to 1080p 30 frames a second. Because that's all it can do. It's an old iPhone SE. It's not all fancy schmancy like what you guys have. So 1080p 30 is, a th is the best that I can do. So the Elgato program will set it to 1080 I don't know how it does it, but that's what it does. I don't see a difference in quality at all. But it says it is doing 60 frames, which I doubt. But if I set it to native settings, 1080 30, all of a sudden my GPU gets locked at 30 frames. So any game I'm playing is at 30. All my other cameras are set to 30. You gotta stop doing that shit, Algato. You have to stop using the program. I paid for this program. Just so I can use the iPhone as a webcam. It needs to be even worse. Because they used to use... Uh, well, it still has major issues. Like audio. I can't use the audio coming out of the iPhone. Because it has like a 300 millisecond re uh, delay. I have no idea why. Nobody has a solution for it. And it happens to be because of the old drivers they used to use called Canoni Wave. Which used to work with the uh, iTunes. So that was a fucking mess to begin with. But they've updated to the camera hub. And the camera hub, I guess, is developed by someone else. And now this is happening with the whole refresh rate. So the only time I use this camera is when I need to be away from the computer like I am now. Because all my other cameras are on capture. Well, except for the uh, the main camera with the USB. But the other cameras are on capture card. Potatoes to go. Still working? Or... Yeah, still working. I can't believe that Elgato crashed my computer. I thought Elgato was supposed to be for streamers. Don't get me wrong, I like Elgato. Because I use a Stream Deck. Stream Deck is awesome. You guys playing anything right now? I'm just talking shit on Elgato because I can't have dead air. But I have something to talk about. Well, hopefully if I shit enough, talk enough shit about Elgato, they'll send me some free prep. Highly doubt it, but hey, it works for some.
Have they updated uh, Warzone 2 yet? Yeah, because I really don't want to play that game public. I don't have the patience anymore. <laughs> Don't have the patience anymore to deal with fucking trolls and shit. In public lobbies. Can't believe your micro dick ca fucking caused the, my computer to crash. Fucking Enrique, who was it? Is it Enrique Iglesias or Mark Anthony? One of them with the fucking micro dick. gonna ch talk shit about so I can get free product. We got one more potato? Oh, we got one more potato. How about Sony so I can get a PS5? Talk shit on the PS5. Talk about the PS5 how it's racist. Races against poor folk. Can't afford it. Once all this is cut, it's gonna only be like 15 minutes. I just gotta dice up the carrots. Last potato. I like my other setup. We had that green screen behind me. Because I would actually post up the ingredient list. There's so much crap in the RV now, I can't do that. So I'll post up the ingredient list once I post this on uh, YouTube. But for now, you're just going to have to watch write shit down like when you used to watch Julia Child or Emeril Lagasse BAM watch this shit watch this shit alright we're done with the potatoes My final, final cleaning. Final clean. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, that's done. Let's heat up our back to a boil. 210 degrees will do it. Let me 
Where's he at? Don't care about my food. Turn on the fan. I was wondering when my mic was on. What'd you do? Time to do the carrots. Get the carrots. Yeah, because we gotta wash the carrots too. Be safer that way. Yep, that's a carrot. A fucking big chungus carrot. Chungus. Same thing with the carrot. You want to dice it. Dice it into little cubes. That way it'll cook faster. Almost there, folks. Almost there. You're watching this shit happen live. Like a NASCAR event. You're just waiting for me to lose a finger. Have a stroke. Something. You guys are weird. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing a cooking stream. But I figured out. Uh, gotta put in the hours. Gotta put in the time. 
Since I missed so much in the past. Missed five months of fucking streaming. That hurt. Gotta get the viewership back. Gotta get the audience back. Get him back, get him back. If I don't, I'm gonna have to give up on this shit and start collecting cans. Don't wanna do that. End up with fucking herpes and shit. End up with gonorrhea. Fucking collecting cans. Give those a rinse. We need more carrots. Right here, dude. Got another carrot. Yeah. All right, let's do it the safer way. Oh, this way. Jesus Christ, I need an axe. Bob it on these carrots. This way. Moving right along. Once these are cut, get these to cook. Jesus Christ. Fucking carrots are solid as a rock. It'll make someone happy. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Both carrots. Here, let's get the edges. There, there. One more. Yep. Get those edges. Julian the bitches. Julian. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. Home stretch. They're damn good carrot. Damn good carrot. What's going on? Why we living you? Don't you fucking suck, man. Take too long cutting carrots. Where's these guys? These are not ready to go in the soup. Time to go in the soup. Get in the soup. Alright. Drain the carrots. Drain the taters. Drain the taters. See, nice and clear. Clatties. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, this is ready to go to soup. 
Can I get this? Should fit. Should fit. Is there a mise en place? Now, if you replace the potato with carrots and onion, or uh, celery and onion, then you got yourself. Uh, oh my god! I was just about to say it. What the fuck? Mirepoix. No, that's not American Indian. Basis to most stocks. Oh. The Mirepoix. Or you can use leek and substitute for an onion. Okay, I'm cleaning this because I gotta drain the the sabao. Drain the sabao. There we go. Look at this beauty. Take the shrimp shells out. Oh yeah. All that flavor out of the shells. Microphone's getting a fucking steam bath. Throw my glasses. bit of it. Get all the little legs, get the tails. Oh, Damien is seeing the the shrimp shells through the TV where I have the OBS projecting and he thinks that uh, he's trying to smell it through the TV. You should know better, dude. That's just a TV. Cats are not stupid, but if they get hungry enough, they forget. They get hangry too. Ooh, that was a nice sounding fucking corn Camaro. the shells out. All the shells out. Now we gotta drain the rest of the shells. Squeeze them. Squeeze the little fuckers. Squeeze it. Get all that juice out. Look at that. That's precious. That is precious. Smell 
don't know what the devil's cooking. You guys smell what the devil's cooking? Turn this back on. You didn't heat. I'm a seasoned bitch. All right. The reason why you use 15 quarts of water because. Well, good night, dude. Talk to you tomorrow. The reason why you use 15 quarts of water, water is because for every three quarts, you use one tablespoon of caldo con sabor. Here go. Caldo con sabor de pollo. So it's chicken bouillon. But the Nor brand, that's my favorite. So since we have 15 in here, Let's go, let's start with five. Five tablespoons for 15 quarts of water. Two, three, four, five. And then, the Lauren, Lauren's home. You can see that, right? Oh, yeah. I try to stay away from the California. I don't like the texture on that one. This one's nice and flaky. Where the California one is more granulated. We'll go with uh, two tablespoons. Next, McCormick's Grillmate Montreal Steak. This is awesome. We'll go with uh, one tablespoon. Okay, get all around. Just stir it, stir it, stir it. And there's your broth. There's your delicious broth right there. That's where the magic happens. Now, Mise en place. Go right in. Watch out because it's going to splash. There you go. See, this is why you use a 30 quart pot. I haven't even added the shrimp yet. Okay, so that's done. You got that. That's over. Throw the shimp shells away. Yeah, never, never toss your shrimp shells without using them. Even if you have no need for the shrimp shells at that point, like you're not making any kind of broth or stock or anything, put them in a Ziploc bag, suck the air out, freeze them. Thank me later. Same thing with the shrimp heads. All right, well, that's cooking. That should take about 20 minutes. On a medium, medium high heat. Oh, you can even taste it now. Give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. Ooh. Ooh. That is already good. Just wait until you put the shrimp in. Just wait. with the mise en place. 
Actually, let's bring it to a high so we can get it to boil. Problem with the induction cookers is that they cook too fast. Actually, we'll put it back down to medium high. It'll control the temperature better. Onward with the mise en place. Continue with the mise en place. Next. Cilantro. Let's cut the cilantro. The hell? Cilantro. Make sure it's nice and dry. Shake all that shit out. Shake it out, shake it out. Don't forget to remove the metal bands. Hey, what's going on? Fighting. What are you guys fighting? They're fighting over the damn shrimp. So I got three bunches here. This should be enough. Hopefully. Hopefully. Make sure when you get your cilantro that uh, doesn't have any black leaves and shit like that in it, because that'll accelerate the the decomposition of it. It'll start going rotten faster. So try to get it as fast, as fresh as you can, with no black leaves in it. Because black leaves are pretty much a sign that it's already decomposing. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it all at once. Make sure you remove all the bands before you start cutting because otherwise it's going to destroy your knife. Keep a clean kitchen. Keep a clean kitchen. My phone acting funny? Does it try to keep auto uh, auto focusing? Is that what it's doing? Yeah, I think it's the shadows. Shadows is fucking it up. Shadow. Remember. Even when you're cutting herbs, keep your fingers in. Because now you can't see your fingers. So you're better off just closing your knuckles and cut away from you. Away from you. Angle the blade away from you. We don't want to see you on fucking World Star Hip Hop. Check out this motherfucker just lost all of his fingers killing his cilantro. One in the morning. One in the morning. See, I told you, shit takes forever to do. But, it cooks pretty quickly. You can do the mise en place like a day in advance and then do the shrimp after. Prepare the shrimp first, put it in an airtight container, put it in the fridge, put some water in. Well, no, keep it out of the water. You don't want them waterlogged. And then do all your mise en place, put that in containers. And when you're ready to cook it the next day, it'll be done in like an hour. Yeah, what takes the longest is cooking the potatoes and carrots. 
you want those to soften up, but you don't want to overcook them. So you got to keep an eye on your soup. You can't let it slow cook. It'll ruin the texture. Yeah, I'm definitely not a cooking channel. Yeah, I'm not a chef. But I do have a bunch of my own recipes. And I guarantee will blow anybody like fucking Rachel Ray out of the water. That dumbass. Her and Jamie Oliver. Fucking horrible people. Horrible, horrible fucking... Whatever the hell they cook. They cook for aliens. They don't cook for people. They cook for the camera. Especially her fucking Rachel Ray's pozole. That was insulting. Her fucking pozole was racist. Yeah, her pozole was... It was basically a goddamn chili. With ketchup. Nobody puts beans and ketchup in pozole. You're out of your fucking mind if you call that pozole. But she kept calling it, it's authentic. It's authentic. Get out of here. And Jamie Oliver, Jesus Christ. You got people dedicating their channels against fucking just... Disproving, uh... Or showing how wrong Jamie Oliver is. That guy shouldn't be allowed to be near a refrigerator within a hundred feet. Should be a restraining order against that dude. He gives food fucking emotional damage. Emotional damage. Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna fucking chili jam. Must have got that chili jam from Nutsberry Farm. Yeah, the shadow you're seeing, that's my microphone. See? I think that's causing all the issues. My microphone is in the way. Like I said, I was in... Expecting to make a cooking stream, but here we are. Yeah, I, I was, I was just gonna play video games, but I'm a variety streamer. Can't just play video games all the time. And the old lady wanted a soup, so. Cause she sickles right now. She got the colds, the allergies, <laughs> acting like a baby. I want soup. Give me soup. Make me soup now. She put her on here and make her mukbang. All right, put that in the container. Tell me how you're married to an Asian without telling me that she's Asian.
Need I say more? Yeah. This is like the best two dollars I've ever spent. And I, I think I even wore off the damn IKEA on it. stream still up gonna be failing because even the chat box cause leaves every once in a while can't tell I'm away from the computer never clean enough what you don't want to do when you're cooking is just let everything pile up just clean it doesn't take but a couple of seconds clean on the way there you go see look at easy easy peasy that there there Time to do the onions. Onion. Onion. Alright, sharpen our knife again. Some ASMR for you. Let's just check our bra. Yeah, boy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, once the potatoes start getting translucent and floating, you've they're done cooking. The thing is, you still got to cook the shrimp. So you want to keep checking it before the potatoes start floating. If the potatoes start floating before you put the shrimp in, then you 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 just overcook the entire batch. Then eventually the potatoes are going to turn into mush. There's not a whole lot you can do to fix it. I don't think there is anything you can do to fix it. Where's my scraper? Where's my scraper? Big scraper. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape. Do you guys need a lesson on how to cut, how to dice onions? See that? See that? Nice and diced. Not even sliced. It's sliced. Look at that. It is diced. It is diced. It is diced. These guys. Looks like we need to get one more layer off. There we go. Here we go. Almost done, babe. The 
and they're turning it to She-Hulk. I'm hearing race cars. Somebody must be practicing late at night. Who's that? Good boy. Yeah, cause uh, we live near the Fontana Speedway. So we might be hearing NASCAR going off. Yeah. called the Auto Club Speedway. It's a big track. Big, big track. Big track. Big track. Big, big track. Big track. Big track. Potatoes are getting close. And the carrots will continue cooking. Now, the other thing you gotta be careful with when you're cutting onions. When you're cutting the onion. If you have kitties, pay attention. Do not drop any onions where they can get to them. It's toxic for them. You will kill your kitties. So be mindful. Do not let them eat onion. It is toxic. Same with grapes. Same with cherry pits. And a domesticated cat that is friendly will eat anything. Even if it doesn't like it. But if it's got more of a... Like a feral tendencies or stray. They tend to be more selective about their food. Or picky about their food. Damien is exactly one of those cats. That eats everything. Because... He has no fear. He has nothing to fear. So he has no fear. So he eats everything off the floor. Sammy, on the other hand, has more feral tendencies. And he waits for Damien's approval. If he sees Damien eat it, then he'll feel like it's safe enough to eat. But he won't go and pick it up himself. Onion. Two onion. Two onion. Man, if you want to learn how to cook or use proper technique, go check out. I have no affiliation with him whatsoever. I wish I did. Is uh, Chef Jean Pierre. He's an Italian, French, Louisiana cook. And that dude, talk about content creator. He's owned restaurants for over 50 years. So he's a, he's a boomer. And. He had a teaching school, culinary school. But now he's retired. And he teaches his recipes on YouTube. And it's actually fairly consistent and professional. He's actually taking it seriously. Very high content quality, high quality content. I think he actually built the studio just for his cooking, for his cooking channel. That's why I keep saying mise en place because of him.
But Lucy, Uncle Lucy, why do you keep cutting the edges off? Because they're round. And they don't dice unless you cut them sideways. That's why we cut the edges off. Oh, okay. What did you say? Look at no crank. No crank whatsoever. Zero. None. Because I didn't cut the core. Some people say that's a myth, but so far, in my experience, if I don't cut the core, no cranging. My eyes don't sweat. My face don't tingle. Look at that. That's all I leave. That's it. Just the core. Just the core. <gasps> See what I mean? That little piece that I threw away in the trash, bounce out. Gotta watch out for the kitty. Gotta watch out for the kitty. And see, in the way that I'm cooking, the way I'm cutting the onions, I don't have to sit there continually dicing. They're already small. They dice themselves. If you wanna know how to Cut these onions properly. You can go to my YouTube channel. My cooking YouTube channel. I got two YouTube channels. Primary YouTube channel is Life of Lucifer and Sons. At YouTube.com backslash Life of Lucifer. And then my secondary channel, which is dedicated to cooking. YouTube.com backslash Life of Lucifer's Lunch Truck. Now, YouTube doesn't, the algorithm doesn't like my name. So more than likely it'll be shadow banned if you try to search it. But if you click, if you go to my Twitch homepage, you go to the panels down below, you'll see the links there and just press the buttons. Take it directly to my, to my YouTube channels. Now, that's why I'm streaming, trying to get to a thousand subs. I need a thousand subs. Let's get to a thousand subs. We're almost there. So freaking close. So close. Oh yeah, look at all that. All right, we gotta check our potatoes. Gotta check our potatoes. Clean the hands, clean the sink. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hot. Ooh, looking good. Oh, yeah. They're ready. Come and throw the shrimp in. Shit. Get out of the way, towel. There we go. The shrimp is only going to cook for like seven minutes and that's it. Doesn't take much. Ooh. Put this over here. Watch me spill it all over myself. Ooh, look at see how quickly they're cooking. And we got the potatoes right on time. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh come on. Stop breathing. Oops. Okay, that doesn't belong in the soup. That damn cameras. There we go. There we go. Look at that. 
Oh man, that is magic. Don't be too aggressive with the stern because you'll start breaking the potatoes apart. Actually, you can you can stop the heat right now. But since I'm in an induction cooker, I want to keep it warm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is delectable. That is delicious. Oh man. Okay, that's enough stirring. You want to break apart the potatoes and turn it into a fucking uh, mashed taters. mix up here keep it covered up mix our onions and cilantro remember the kitties be mindful of the kitties see that or lost them Be mindful of the kitty. Don't want to kill your kitty. That kitty right there. That kitty was venting. That's a venting kitty. Oh man, look at that. Okay, that's enough. Actually, no. Put you on low. Put you at 140. Hang on. Don't want to overcook the potatoes. You don't want to overcook the shrimp either. But it's worse if you overcook the potatoes. Because at least the shrimp don't disintegrate. Alright. Alright. Let's get the soup on. Get our shoe bone. Yeah. 
the shooting is perfect. See how the broth is nice and clear? That's how you know you did a good job. Good job. Get the potato out of the potatoes falling apart? Nope. But they're nice and soft. That recipe should be on death row. Fuck them people. Don't give them shit. What I meant is, this is gonna be my death row food. Fuck them people. Let's complete it. And what you want to do, cut some lemons. Yes, I know they're limes, but I call them lemons because in Spanish they're called limones. Either call them limones verdes or limones, limones. You don't call them limones amarillos. You just call them limones. Limones verdes are these. Green lemons. Because if you say lima, lima means file. Like nail file, lima. Lija. Sandpaper. Doo -doo -doo. The more you know. Doo -doo -doo. Fuck off. Yeah, boy. What else do we want to use? The most important ingredient in the whole thing. Tapatillo! That's for the old lady. This is for me. Give it a mix. Give it a mix. Oh man. That is beautifully cooked. I'm not patting myself on the back, I'm just saying. The potatoes. Potatoes. Beautifully cooked, because they're not, they're not falling apart. They're not getting all fucking pulverized and dusty. And then to top it off. I'm coming. Yeah, I'll get you some, don't worry. I'll get you some with a house house. Get the house house. Yeah. I'll give you guys wet food. Because it already has garlic. That's another thing that... Gotta be careful not to give cats table... Table food because of garlic. And salt. You can actually not... Go overboard with the onion and cilantro. You can put as much as you want. More the better. Just don't turn it into a goddamn cilantro salad. And piece de resistance. No, not meow. Crackers. Gotta eat it with crackers. One for the old lady. One for me.
Alright. Alright, I'm gonna make an Instacart delivery and I'll be right back. She gets fed like they used to feed fucking sling blade. Can't forget the boys. Gotta cook for them too. Gotta cook for the boys. What are you guys eating tonight? Let's see. You guys are eating chicken turkey casserole. Yeah. Chicken turkey. Chicken turkey. Turk Duncan. I'm missing the duck. You're making a mess. All right. Let's get to eating. Ooh. It is some deliciousness. And I gotta do the dishes. The hell? Cut myself like a dumbass. Don't need to do that. No, no, no. Don't need to do any of that. No, no, no. Don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. Let's eat. Manja.
Liz Mongel. This recipe will probably be available in about two days because can't put the VODs up within 24 hours. And you'll find the uh, ingredient list in my YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Go, go do it now. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Living the high life. Hold on. Can't forget the most important ingredient. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, man, nothing goes better with this than beer. My boys keep forgetting that I'm disabled. They won't let me sit. Oh. Now I get to enjoy my food. be high life. Oh, good. Mm. 
I can eat this forever. And ever. And ever. What the hell? Step on branch. Oh, that's a leaf. Was it poison? Emotional damage. You want some therapy? You please, I will send you to Jesus. Okay. This is like the perfect Super Bowl food. Man, your friends will love you forever. <clears throat> yeah, something about the beer just makes the flavors pop in your mouth. Yeah. Pop in the mouth. It's not too sweet, not too rancid, just right. I'll give you some mukbang. <clears throat> mukbang action. Yeah. It is two o'clock in the morning. It is delicious. <clears throat> it makes you strong. Make you strong like bull. It's so good. If you don't try this recipe, you're missing out. You're missing out.
Oh my god, so good. So salty, so lemony, so shrimpy. How in the hell did this turn into a mukbang all of a sudden? ASMR mukbang. <clears throat> oh no, first tank is venting. That made some room. Oh my god. Oh my god. The more you eat it, the more you want. <clears throat> this is evil. This is evil. ASMR. Testing out ASMR. Why are you sweeping your food? Why are you sweeping your food? My ass so good. It's so good. Tank number two. Mm. This is too good. This is too good.
Ouais. Dame en spawn. It's a boar. Not fair, you guys can't have any. You gotta make your own. Not fair. Alright, ASMR mode. Engaged. Yeah. Mukbang enabled. Ooh, hot. Hot. So hot, hot, too hot, yeah, bug bang. Look, bang, I use some more. Well, we got a rudimentary cooking channel set up now. Hopefully I can start doing more cooking streams. Because the way I had it before was way different. All this was covered in green screen. Why is this so good? Why is this so good? I can't stop eating it. This food is dangerous. Dangerous. Some are disengaged. Down on my last cracker. Last cracker. No. Uneven. Uneven. Steaming. Let's resist. Let's resist. There was shrimp left and no crackers. Oh.
adapt and overcome. Substitute with beer. Substitute cracker with beer. I still want another bowl. I'm gonna go to bed feeling like a water balloon. All right, once I finish doing the dishes, <clears throat> reconfigure everything back to gaming mode, and we'll play some games. Good night. The three good hours that I get. Oh. Have a clean up duty. Ooh. Sweating now. Delicious. Harsh reality. I'll be done. mode
It is all part of the facts of life. Gotta do the dishes. 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 Yeah. So freaking full now. Let's show one another plate. Right there. Right there. <clears throat> Can't see, babe. Yeah. Facts a lot in the facts a lot. Bing, 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 bing. That was delicious. That was delicious. That was delicious. Eat like a damn king now. Good thing about having food steps. You eat like a freaking king. Like a king. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a racetrack. I'm hearing Sprint Cup cars. <clears throat> They're practicing this late? It's 2.15 in the morning. Yeah, we live near the Auto Club Speedway. So we can hear them. Upcoming race. Upcoming race. Upcoming race. Upcoming race. RV life. I need it. Do something about the sink is too damn small. Too damn small. Too damn small. Because it's L shaped. I don't know why they did that. But if they just would have made it long wise or make it long lengthwise. It would actually serve us better. When the slide outs are in, we don't have to walk around this damn L. I don't know why they designed it this way.
doing the dishes in the RV is kind of therapeutic because it forces me not to keep things arranged. I just put them where they fit. So I get satisfaction. <coughs> Excuse me. In one way, and but not the other. But at least I get satisfaction. Partially. If you get my drift. It satiates the OCD beast. Because yeah, sometimes this thing will be piled up up to the cabinet after a big cook. Water here is working pretty nicely. Utensils, cutting utensils, cooking utensils. I know, I know, you can't see. I can't see. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. The fourth time. Unequal sizes. No. No. No unequal sizes. First. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Still gotta put it with the soup. Gotta put it with the shrimp stew. Gotta put it with the shrimp stew. No! I've had these knives for, they got my first apartment back in 1994. Clean the sink, 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 forget your jug. Uh oh, running out of hot water. Oh no, just in time. Get the 
cold water. There we go. Beautifully. There we go. So fresh, so clean, clean. Fresh, so clean, clean. Now we got a little bit of soup. Little, little, little. Here we go. Potatoes are holding together. I just want to take a bite out of it. And the broth died for. Oof. So good. Now, this is by no means uh, an authentic cultural cuisine because it's not. This is my own recipe. It's just inspired by Sinaloa cuisine. Because I've had some fucking shrimp stews and color camarón that were horrible. At a fancy restaurant, no less. It fucking sucked. I made it a mission in my life to correct it. Look at that, it fit perfectly in there. By no means am I gonna throw away any of that, any of that broth, any of that's about. You crazy? I'm gonna leave this out for a bit before I put it in the fridge because it'll warm up the fridge.
But I don't want to leave it out for too long because it's shrimp. It's seafood. It can go bad. Ow. I hurt my cheeks. Very nice, very nice. Yes! I gotta mess it up. I gotta mess it up. Yep, I'm still here in race cars. Sounds like that old cartoon, uh, the old video game, Hard Driving from Atari, back in the 80s. The first uh, driving simulator that actually had a clutch and a manual transmission. Then the uh, the sequel, which was stunt driving, didn't take off as wasn't as popular. Didn't have the same feel. Get that dishwashing in some more. It's all part of the fun. All part of the fun. Yeah, one of the most difficult things of being a streamer is pretending that there's an audience. <laughs> you could get at that, you could get a you'd be really good when you do have an audience. That's when the voices in my head get handy. Come in handy. Ah, oh, Sammy. Look at the face. Look at the face. He didn't like the food all that much. Damien did. Look at him. He fucking has a connect attack. Connect. Big connect.
Ja, ö, ö, ö. Shrimp are trying to resurrect. Dishes. A lot of fucking dishes. That's a lot of dishes. That's a lot of dishes. How be doing? Done with the dishes now. I've got to reconfigure back to gaming mode. That's gonna take me a couple of minutes. So I guess I'll be right back. Should we knock first? I wonder what's waiting for us in there. Hey, you shouldn't be in here. This place. This room's good.
You ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Why are you gay? Stiff us aboard. Light us a feather. 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 Stiff us aboard. What more do you want from me? <laughs> See some stars out today. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Let's go for a run. I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? Surprise, motherfucker.
Yo! Yo, holy shit, he dead! I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. What? 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 This dead? Dead? What? No! What the fuck is up, Kyle? No, what did you say? What the fuck, dude? Step the fuck up, Kyle. Good morning to you. I like your funny words, magic man. Enemy spotted. Run. Escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. I'm coming apart. Why are you fucking coming apart? It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? Jesus. I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. If you're feeling suicidal, you've come to the right place. Because I want to fucking kill myself as well. I know somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. No! I have crippling depression. Why? 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 Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at his lips. <laughs> Nobody cares about your weather opinions. Oh, try me, hey, bitch. Hey. What is going on here? Breakfast! Are you gonna buy me a drink? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Buenos dias, caballero. Hey. I'm Batman. Here we go!
one long angry line later.